Hi guys, good evening. This is Danish from GN Tech and we're here checking out the latest uh, and greatest from Samsung. Um, they've j the unpacked event has just gotten over and they have launched the S20 series as well as uh, the new Z Flip. Um, so yeah, let's jump right in. Starting up with uh, the Z Flip itself, the first thing is that, um, well, it flips. It's glass. That's uh, something that's really cool. It has um, a 3300 milliamp battery. It's got a dual camera. It's got a 6.7 inch um, AMOLED display. Uh, it's got a small little display that's on the outside that is, um, well, interactive as well. But uh, on the overall, uh, it's it's, 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 it's very, very unique. Uh, I love that it's got a hinge whereby you can hold it down at any angle and it, well, almost any angle and it stays. So that's uh, definitely something I like. Samsung claims to have uh, a whole bunch of interactivity whereby uh, they've um, updated apps such as YouTube where you can comment on the bottom while um, watching your video on the top. You've also got um, the camera whereby you can Okay, let me see if I can do this over here. Yeah, there you go. So you can basically uh, take a shot of yourself while interacting with the camera here on the bottom. Um, so yeah, it's, I, I definitely like it. It's, um, the hold is, well, the feel is better, I would say, than um, its current competition that I recently got to access, but I'm not completely sure about its pocketability, it feels like it would be slightly odd in the pocket. Um, the hinge doesn't go all the way, it's not completely flat, but that's not really an issue. I never had an issue with that on the fold and I don't have an issue with it on this. So the screen is a 22 by nine aspect ratio, which is pretty tall, but thanks to the way the phone is, um, well, I can say designed, it isn't uh, impossible to get across to all corners and I don't exactly have uh, big hands. It's got a punch hole camera on top which you can see over there. Um, it's got dual cameras on the back uh, which as per my knowledge have an f1.8 and f2.2 aperture uh, so therefore the camera should be able to handle bits of, uh, sorry it should handle low light decently. Um, Type-C charging, 3300 milli milliamp battery and a bottom firing speaker. So yeah, that's um, pretty much a quick gist of the Z Flip. Next, let's jump in to the S series. So with the S series, we've got the S20, S20 Plus, and S20 Ultra. Here in the UAE, we've got um, the Exynos versions of the devices, which will be the Exynos 990, uh, seven nanometer chipsets. But um, in terms of the devices itself, they have a few differences. This one, the S20 is a 6.2 inch display. The S20 Plus is a 6.7 inch display. And the S20 Ultra is a massive 6.9 inch display. Uh, all of them are the Infinity O displays, as you can see, thanks to the um, punch hole cameras. Um, talking first about the S20 and S20 Plus, um, the S20 is the obvious choice for anyone who still wants what you would call a relatively smaller device. Um, it's very easy to hold in the hand. The screen looks great. Um, it's not as uh, curved as devices have been before, which I actually kind of like. Um, I like the slightly flattened look of the display. The S20 Plus has the display that um, is, st is still larger, but um, fits in the hand, easy to reach all corners. And um, yeah, it's a Samsung display. It looks absolutely fantastic. At this year's Unpacked event, there was a huge amount of concentration on uh, cameras when it came to the S20 series. Um, while the S20 has a triple camera setup, the S20 Plus and the S20 Ultra have a quad camera setup. You can record a video in 8K on all devices. You have a 100X zoom on the S20 Ultra. The S20 Ultra comes with a 108 megapixel camera, while the S20 Plus and the S20 come with 64 megapixel cameras. 
The S20 comes with 4G, while the S20 Plus and the S20 Ultra will be coming with 5G capabilities to the UAE. Batteries have been increased, so we've got 4,000 milliamps, 4,500 milliamps, and 5,000 milliamps on the devices. Um, we've also got 8 gigs of RAM on the S20, 8 and 12 on the S20 Plus, and 12 and 16 on the S20 Ultra. The S20 Ultra is being positioned as a device for anyone who wants to go pro, whether you're talking on the camera level, whether you're talking in terms of screen size, features, battery. The S20 Ultra seems to be offering everything that you would need uh, as a content creator, as a person who pushes their phone to the limits. This has been a first look at all the devices that have just been released. Do stay tuned for way more coverage coming up and thank you for watching.